I told him half an hour. Well, you gonna go spend a uh, little bit of cash here? Yeah, that's quite a bit. And uh, I guess I'll show you what I'm buying. But I'll wait until I get home. I'm just with the old man here. Uh, got a blanket in the back and uh, yeah, see how this goes. If it wasn't so windy, I'd try to spread this out a bit more, but... Yeah, good enough. Yep. A little bit of a stack. Well, I got the raccoon, oh wait, I mean puppy, in the back. A little bit scared right now. Yep. You can see she was outside, so there's some burrs everywhere. Has a few burrs on her that has to be cleaned. Needs a bath because uh, kind of had an accident in her kennel on the way back into the city because we met the guy in the city. So give her a little bit to kind of calm down and then we'll see. But right now, I'm very shy and needs a bath. She's going back to the corner. Yeah, she's just climbing over it. And there goes the water. Smooth move, Dad. A little bit scared. Yeah, you're a little scared. Nice and fluffy. And tiny. The runt of the litter. Smells like a barnyard. <laughs> Wet footprints from where the water dish fell. Exactly. That's what I would do. Still yeah, you very you shy. About the size of a raccoon. Yeah. Kind of smells like a barnyard. Dumped this water dish or her water dish already. But a giant Alaskan Malamute, about two months old. Very cute. Needs a bath. Kind of has some poop on his feet. And uh, nice and soft, but still very shy, very scared. Just got taken away from her mother. So you can see she's very shy. And of course, the flashlight on my phone probably isn't the best. But she has a few burrs, uh, a burr stuck in her fur here from being outside. I don't want to pull that out just yet. But yeah, she's a little cutie. The guy was calling her Mohawk because she has a little white strip on the back there. But it could be skunky too. But yeah, she's very cute. Very, very cute. Probably doesn't exactly like the light being shined in her eyes. But just kind of thought I would. Uh, just kind of thought I'd make a quick video. This is my new Poochie. And uh, the mother was about 120 pounds and the father was 140 pounds. So this little baby wolf cub will get a fairly decent size. But I'm just going to leave her alone for a while and uh, kind of let her kind of get used to the area. Very shy right now. I just gave her a cookie, but doesn't really want to eat it. Kind of sniffed it a bit. But I got to get that bird and off and uh, a few other birds. Yep. So, yeah, she just came in from out of town. <laughs> She's starting to get a little bit more uh, energetic. Just kind of did a walk around. Sitting up, kind of sniffing, kind of checking out the area. Jordan, you almost knocked my tutor over. Come on. And back to bed she goes. We're going to take a poop one day too. She's like, yeah, most likely I'll poop all over myself. I'm a puppy. You should look at her on the Yeah, kind of snippy. You looking around now, baby? Hey, are you looking around? Oh, yeah. else. Rough! Making a video here. Liz! Yeah, she just had, well, I just cleaned my hands, so she probably smells it. Okay, get that tongue hanging out. You did last time I gave you a chin rub. How about Tasha? Nope, the mouth's starting to open. Tongue's going to hang in a second. I don't think she likes the camera too much. Panting pretty good. A little warm. You're a little furry. You're like a raccoon. You look like a little baby raccoon. Okay, tongue, come on. Hang out your tongue. Hang out your tongue. Come on, cool yourself down.
<laughs> well, me and my brother's at Petland. He's chooching out my truck. What are you using for a choocher there? The mod or what I'm smoking for bait? Both. Everything. Uh, it's an Alien 220 watt with a V8 tank and I got uh, uh, banana cream from Bargain E-Juice in it. Bargain E-Juice. Well, I got the new smoke. Uh, this is the 2 slash 4 or GX24 so you can run either two batteries or four and I got uh, what is it uh, V12 or T12 in it and I just got some mutt mix uh, custom made with some extra pineapple juice in it you could say works pretty good uh, I gotta put that away and I just noticed my dash cam decided to uh, melt in the Sun See those marks? Power button stuck. Battery melted. So I'm gonna have to pull up that battery. That cannot stay in the sun. This camera was so hot the other day, so I just have to run it without the battery. Battery still works, but I mean, that's dangerous. Look at that, it's from the heat. Well, I just thought I'd also make a video showing all the toys that I got. Uh, of course, poop pads, poop bags, Another poop bags, some treats, dog kibble thing, a couple more treats. These came from Cabela's, Remington, uh, same with this thing. Got a collar here, got that at Petland. Also got this little guy here at Petland. So there's two different sizes, one for now, and then the full growing one. But then I found this at Cabela's, and uh, it was on sale, this setup, for a lot cheaper than I paid for this and it came with a nice heavy-duty leash and I also got this retractable leash here I got this guy here that's a little bit heavy right now but it'll work also got one of these guys here big jumbo fox one of these some blue buffalo food large breed puppy and a couple cans of this stuff and a brush, of course, right now too young to be brushed. Uh, but yeah, how are you doing there, little poochie? How are you doing there, little poochie? You tired? Yeah, you're still tired. It was a long drive into the city. But got a little bit of a kibble mixed with rice there, just to kind of switch them over or her over, and a little bit of water. See what's going to happen but i think i'm going to put on the collar and uh see if i can uh, bring her outside to take a little bit of a squat it's okay now but once you go under the deck you know you remember what it looks like under a deck come on that's where you came out of you don't want to go back under there tails right between the legs no you can't go under the deck no no. Oh, there's a burr on this side too that needs to come off. You just gonna sit there? Oh, yeah. No, my watermelon yeah. I'm worried about the collar going over the head. So I don't want to pull too hard. Just put it in the middle of the lawn there. Carry her over. Yeah. Well, for now I'll just let her do her own thing. No, she's on my watermelon plant. Okay. Come on. What's her name again? Proxy is what I'm thinking of. Proxy. Come on, come on. Well, she just took a pee, and as you can see, she doesn't like the leash. I literally have to drag her around. Look, that's pretty tight. Okay, you're hurting yourself. You gonna knock yourself out, Poochie? You just got this one. Poochie, are you angry? You know you peed here somewhere. Are you angry? Hey. Yeah, I gotta tighten up that collar. It's actually uh, not very good. Yeah. You feel better? You feel better? Why is your butt wiggling? Are you angry? Are you angry? Yeah, she's still a little skittish, that's for sure. Yeah, how do you like me now, Grandma? <laughs> Such a pretty girl. Come on, poodle. Yeah, I called you a poodle. You gotta eat your dinner. Yeah, she just ate a whole pile of it that I put on the floor, but she won't eat other bowls. 
Are you used to eating off the ground? Yeah. I just pulled a bunch of burrs off her. Still gotta give her a bath probably tomorrow, but yeah. She has a lot of fur. Makes trying to find her uh, spot for her leash a little bit tricky. But she's doing good. Still a bit shy. Still a bit shy, but she's doing pretty good. Proxy. We're thinking proxy. We're not too sure yet. Looking at the food. Just kind of deciding if she wants to. Well, she's going to finally take a drink of water. She hasn't drank anything all day. Yeah, unless she's going for food first, no water. Yes, drink some water. Yeah, she's, she's sniffing it. She feels safe in there, that's for sure. Yeah. Drink some water, puppy. There's a little bit of water in her food, too, so. Yeah, there she goes. Oh, she's like, oh, yes. Video, video. I am videotaping. Oh. Well, that's good, because before she would only eat food when I put it on the floor. She's eating her supper now, finally. So when we get, when, uh, we'll step in our hour and give you a chance to take her to the bathroom and stuff before oh, we yeah. go to bed. Yeah, well, I'm going to go get a burger before I go to bed. i got to eat some fatty food. Oh, just because your dog eats doesn't mean you got to eat. <laughs> I'm going to freaking McDonald's. I don't know about you. Uh, whatever. Oh, I think she, she likes it. Hungry. She's chewing right through it. Well, there. I hope she at least finishes that water and we'll, uh, well, I'll put her out on. Her eat. Yeah. As long as we don't come back and everything's just slammed around and she's covered in shit, we're good. Yeah. Could be why when we, uh, picked her up that the cage she was in was, uh, only had a little bit of paper or whatever on the bottom. Maybe she likes to roll in her own poop. Well, we know she likes to lay in it because she's full of it. Mm. <laughs> but that's probably from the truck ride. There's water in there anyway, so she's getting water. Well, what she's eating has water in it. That's what I mean. There's rice and stuff, too. So. Yeah, we got some rice. We got some... Oh, she... She's still not sure of the water dish. I yeah. wonder if we should have put a little bit of milk in the water just to give her... No, smell. not yet. You got to remember, she might not have actually drank much water because she was still technically stealing a snack off Mommy yeah, when, we were, when we were uh, when we got her. Yeah, well, if I say maybe we should mix a little bit of milk with the water to make her drink. No, no, I don't think we'll have to worry about her. Well, me and the old man just went to McDonald's. We came back. The puppy ate, uh, drank her water. Still a little bit left in there, but she drank lots of it. And, and she ate more food, too. Yeah, ate more food. The food dish is a bit moved. Uh, going through McDonald's drive through there was a limousine behind us, which uh, uh, drove up and said, Oh, it is you, Drew. Recognized the old man from his coon video. Yeah. The raccoon video. <laughs> but he didn't recognize you. Uh -huh. No, no. <laughs> But mind you, it does say drive shop through right on his truck everywhere, so. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So he got recognized in McDonald's parking lot by a limo driver. That was pretty sweet. And whoever was in the back. <laughs> if there was people in the back. Yeah, if there was people in the back. Who knows? No, mind you, it sounded like there's like eight orders that were made behind us, so most likely there was. Yeah. But we just opened the door, see if she'll come out. She's still laying in there. And uh, other than that, I'm going to hook her up to the leash, drag her outside. See if she'll walk. I don't like dragging her. I need to probably get a harness for her. And, uh, yeah, see if she'll go to the bathroom. Mm. Better than waking up with poop in her bed and laying in it. That's not really a good thing. She's either coming out to poop on the floor. Yep. Going for a pee. Yeah, you're going for a pee. At least you left your kennel. Yeah. Yeah. Now you really need to be videotaping that. No. Over her feet. That's a hell of a pee there, Poodle. Yeah, no shit. You gotta clean it up. It's your dog. Oh, that's good. She left her cage. You're a good girl. Oh, good Poodle. But now, now, she, now she'll always pee on my floor. Hey, Thank you. it's still better. Won't you? You gonna pee on my floor again? No, she's gonna go take a poop on the carpet. What do you mean? Better not. Well, get it cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, I was actually going to go take her out so she doesn't poop on the carpet. Well, she already peed now, Uncle. Actually, that's not that big. No, you got to clean it up anyway. Yeah, do you want to take her out then when I clean it? No. Nope. Okay. You just going to lay there? Yeah, you just going to lay? Yeah, you going to eat some grass? You're getting a lot more calmer. Oh, you're such a cute little fluffy poodle. 
besides peeing on the garage floor, but hey, that's better than peeing in your cage. That's a start. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured you had to do one of those. You just drank that whole bowl of water we left you. Well, I'm going to let her lay for a bit, and uh, believe it or not, she walked by herself out here. Never even had to drag her. Hooked her up, and she came walking out. That's good. I just got to cut all those bushes down there, otherwise she's going to get a bunch of thorns in her fur again, because, uh, yeah, she's pretty fluffy. I think that whole video was useless because the camera was sideways. I can actually feel the vibrate, like her throat, yeah. through this l leash. See? Yeah, I know it's hard, but all you gotta do is stand up and follow it. I know. I know. You were just rolled upside down for a tummy rub outside, you were all good. And it's like, yeah, but I, I don't like to be told where to go. Huh? Good thing she waited till she was out of her panel, kennel to do that. You're such a little one in there. Yeah, you're all smiley and happy. Yeah. You get so smiley and happy when you get locked in there. That's kind of strange, but adder adder, you just took a poop. No, I don't think so. You want to have some water? Yeah, I just added a little bit more in there. No pooping in there, remember. No pooping in there. I'm gonna put one of those to catch it when she gets out. <laughs> well, I'm off to bed. I put some cookies in there for her. Gotta kinda fatten her up a bit. She's low skin and bones, but of course, still young. She'll eat it. Yes, I'm snooping. Okay, you seen that big smile on your face? It's either a poopy smile or something else. All I can say is, please do not poop on the blanket I put in there for you to sleep on. Well, there we go. She laid down. Well, it's now the next morning. I'm still thinking the name Proxy. So, we just uh, unleashed her, let her out. Well, she was actually out for a while. She went out on the leash with my brother... Uh, did her business in the front yard on leash a uh, little bit skittish still, but I mean way better I just took the lid off there and she walked out walked around came and laid down beside me She's not trying to hide in corners really too much anymore. She's very fluffy. That's for sure Last night she let me give her a tummy rub. I removed a bunch of burrs from around that area and uh, yeah she did drink a lot of water and eat a lot of food, so she's doing good. She is doing good. And very fluffy. Very, very fluffy, that's for sure. And let her explore the front yard a bit. See those holes there? That's where a skunk was in the yard. Literally a skunk. My dad seen it on video. But there's holes everywhere from a skunk digging, and I'm not talking about just in our yard. Across the street there, 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 all the way around this is uh, holes from the little skunk. And when I say skunk, I'm not talking about her. She looks like a raccoon, not a skunk. You're all happy there, Poodle? She's a happy Poodle. Might be a little warm. You get a little flea. You get a little flea. Well, I'll turn this off for now and see if we can get her to go to the bathroom. Stay off the sidewalk. She's like, yeah, but I want to go play. I want to go play. It's on the bells. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that little striped mohawk on her back. So cute. Well, I guess I'll shut this off for now. Keep her in the city for a few a little bit before I bring her out to the country. Just get her used to everything. You get a little scratchy. Yeah, you'll yeah, get a bath village. tomorrow. She groomed herself nicely. She's not all poopy smelling anymore. <laughs> okay, I'll shut this off. Your dog's getting quiet, so that's good. Okay. Be quiet. I heard a little bit of a noise from her. 
She's not barking. She let out a little growl when she saw him. Or her. <laughs> it's okay, though. That's a normal. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Oh, she's doing pretty good. She's like, ooh, make sure that mommy. Just bless her. <laughs> well, that's good that they see each other. I'm good. I just think, you just like YouTube, you meet oh, yeah. those people on YouTube that are really nice and happy. And, and you do get a lot out of them, like I do with you. That's why I shout you out a lot, and, you know? We bounce a lot off of each other, so to me, you're a, a great dude, so I'm going to shout you out over there, over here, over there, up there, everywhere. Yeah. And the same with this guy. He's going to donate to be like fucking power. Slow down there, you know, Proxy. People get out of into nature. No drink too much before you go to bed, Poodle. You don't want to pee to bed. <laughs> but how many flies are there on the shop? I don't fucking know. Well, you gotta count them or else you'll never find the match. It could be 24, 28, 36, 32. You don't know how many are unless you. You mark one, and then you just count all those flying right till you get back to your mark. And then you say that the, you know, then you can tell Harvey, look, it's a 24 spline shaft, one inch across or three quarter inch across.